and we're live. Welcome back to the Motus Podcast. This is our cold, warm intro where we actually just are introing Sam's eating noodles. You look so wild right now. No, what a, what a, what a fucking intro. Mm-hmm. The stir fry looks good as well, I have to say. <laughs> <laughs> The funny, hi. hi. The funniest thing is the uh, the Star Podcast. Callum does like these really formal intros. Like even if it's an episode that's maybe a bit loose. Yeah, maybe we need one. He sits down and he he prepares like a script. Yeah, and then that's ours. No, instead we're like George is here. Let's fucking talk to him. <laughs> I was yeah. I mean that's it, yeah. isn't it? No, it's great. I mean, yeah, I haven't been on a podcast in a long time. And you've taken your glasses off for the occasion. You're yeah. looking swell. I want to look <laughs> less like a nerd. He said, he said that he hadn't showered in so and so hours. No, I only haven't showered because I just came back from Asia. So I like did the long journey back to London and then came straight to the workshop to Where, film this podcast. He hasn't been home yet. Where yeah. were you? Yeah, what, like 12 hours ago? Um, 12 hours ago, I was in Doha. But before that, I was in the Philippines um, teaching a parkour certification with WFPF. He landed at Heathrow Airport at 7 a.m. this morning and got on a train and came here. And it's now sort of just after lunch and he's, we've watched Soul and done some other things. And now we're he's committed. Keep yeah. us drinking and, and we're I'm doing just, this. I'm just trying my hardest not to fall asleep so I can fix my sleeping pattern. Mate, when I'm jet lagged, I, if I was at you right now, yeah. I would be like, nope, I'm not doing a podcast. I'm lying on that sofa and I'm dying. I do feel terrible, but I know if I go to sleep now, I'll just, you know, it'll be. Do you get the boat feeling where you're like. Yeah, yeah. yeah. No, I've, I had that when we were watching Soul. Yeah. When I was sitting down, I was like. Ooh. Oh shit. Yeah, yeah. Feeling like you're on, yeah. 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 How long have you been awake for? Uh, no, I, I slept on the plane a decent bit, but it was, Good. you know, like on and off. I had a, yeah. there was a young kid behind me, just like literally just bashing the back of my seat. And I, like, turn, 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 and no, I, I turned around at one point and just looked at the mom and she said, oh, sorry. I was like, <laughs> well, so stop the kid from doing it then. But yeah, it was chill. child in the fucking chill. face. Mm. Yeah. Nice. So what, where were you in the Philippines? Manila. Manila. I have literally no idea where that is in terms of like, Geography. Neither do mm-hmm. I. <laughs> we need like a world map yeah. so we can nah, look at it. But how was it? You it know, was, be- it was amazing. You never been to Asia before? Have you? Nah, I've never been to Asia. That was the first time, but it was it was awesome. Just very warm, very humid. Um, but yeah. apart from that, there was actually and for parkour, there was re- really good spots, but you couldn't train at them because there's so much security. So really? in what? theory, there it would be amazing for training, but you just can't train there. But what kind of security? What like posh like, buildings? Or? Yeah, it's just like posh buildings even like we found one shopping center which had mad spots out the front yeah you couldn't train like literally as soon as you step near the wall they're like yeah you have to go wow. and also they make you still making you wear masks outside so you're just like uh. so yeah. did you do any training yeah. outside yeah no we we still trained there was one place that's like which is weird because it's like a historic landmark it's for an old fort but they let you train but there. that's fine that, 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 yeah. <laughs> yeah, not a new shopping yeah. center yeah, that's fine but walls that have just been built in the last five years that that's not okay, but these right. I guess that I guess they want to keep the the new walls new. Yeah, yeah but surely right. you want to preserve. I, like I swear, in the UK, it would be the opposite way around. You yeah. want, you would want to preserve like historic landmarks and not ruin old, yeah. old brick. Definitely, but yeah. Mm-hmm. Was it weird training? Do you have to train with a mask on then? Uh, no, I just took it off. You just took it off. Yeah, I just yeah. yeah. I wasn't training. I haven't with rebel. We haven't had that point no, in England, have we? They never did it in America. It seems to be that. Yeah, I don't think they do anymore though. But they've been doing it in so Asia hot. for time. Like a lot of Asian athletes have been training with mask on for like years. Yeah, also because the just because the pollution. The, the pollution's pretty yeah, yeah. horrible. Yeah, mm-hmm. with the comment, uh, conversation, the humidity and the pollution is tough. That's what a lot of them said to me. They just said it's normal for us to wear masks regardless yeah. of the COVID situation. <laughs> yeah, yeah. They were wearing them anyway, so protect mm. the lungs. It's were you like, were you coaching in? Uh, no, well, coaching coaches, is that what you were doing? Yeah, so it was a How parkour certification, yeah. So I was teaching coaches level one to three of the WFBF um, certification, um, yeah. And I was teaching people who want to push their coaching further and be qualified so they can get proper insurance. So mm. is that a big... That's awesome. Is there a lot of gyms or just coaches out there then? Like, in, um, if you in ask there, me... Yeah, in, in Manila, where I was, yeah, it was like a parkour slash CrossFit slash ninja gym. Uh, so it okay. did like a bit of everything. It was one of them places, but it was like, mm. the setup was pretty nice. Even for parkour, it was decent. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And Max Ward was out there, right? Filming Yeah, on. Max Ward, he came out also to film. Yeah. Um, nice. So he'll be making a video about it um, and just yeah, about my time there and some training and stuff. Sick. What was we your... All need, we all need more George content. <laughs> I know. Come I back know. here and stay here. George in Asia. Well, I'll be documentary back. Documentary done. Oh, <laughs> a documentary of yeah. George in Asia. I'm going to come for a world um, chase tag. 
if you guys are going. Really? Yeah, at the end of May. What, are you competing? No, 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 I'm just going to come and watch. Oh, okay. <laughs> no, no, no. I'm I was just like, this is to news to me. No, no, I'm just coming Would you ever do a chase tag? Once I get the contact lenses, maybe. <laughs> yeah. But not now. But yeah, Slamming maybe. into fucking but bars. Yeah. yeah, I don't want to do like- Have you seen it live yet? Nah, that's why I want to go. Because it's so exactly, fun. that's what everyone keeps and telling so me. so many people, like Davis is coming. Yeah, I think exactly. Davis wants to come on the podcast, so we'll get him That's what I'm saying. Like I know the sick. vibes are always look so good. So yeah. I definitely want to come to this one. For yeah. sure. So mm. I'll come back at the end of the month. I really, the, 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 obviously when I think World Chase Tag, I always think that there's that Landmarks gig the night before. So if what? anyone wants to go see Landmarks in London the night before Chase Tag, mm. hit me up because I'd like to do it, but I need like, you know. What's, what's Landmarks? We've it's got a tickets. Band. It's a band. We haven't got tickets yet. Mm. I want to get them. Some. We're also seeing it's George. Heavy metal? It's a heavy band, yeah. They're a French band. I dare you. I don't know if I could. <laughs> they're French, they're amazing. I don't know if I could get hyped enough <laughs> <laughs> to enjoy it. Even with like a good loaded yeah, drinks, yeah, I still yeah, don't yeah. think yeah, I could It get, might be a bit just overwhelming. I, I don't think I could get hyped enough. <laughs> Mm-hmm. Um, Architects though In like a couple of weeks Loads of people Callan Contendon Really? Uh, Scotty people. Yeah a load of us That'd be nice So anyway mm-hmm. Anyway um, So you're So how How long were you in Asia, Well in Where in Asia were you? The uh, Philippines In the Philippines Yeah just two It was just two weeks mm-hmm. And you didn't Was it just there You didn't travel Yeah yeah just, just Manila No it was just the one place mm-hmm. The thing I love right Is like a couple of years ago Little old George, he barely left like the shire. I was thinking this. Yeah, when we were going to Sainsbury's earlier, literally. I was like, fucking hell, like you've. Yeah. You, you, you were in America seeing... a couple of months ago, weren't you? Like, yeah, like we, we, me, me and Travis went to America and then, yeah. Just and I'm going to, me and Travis are going to Italy. Next week, I think. Yeah, next week. That's fucking sick. Just bopping all over the place. But I remember seeing George, like, where, I think it was in, we might have said this in an, an, an older podcast with you, but there was that jam in a skate park. Oh yeah. And there was a video on YouTube, Street Media. media. Yeah. Yeah. And I saw a clip of you and I was like, I've never seen that guy before, but I don't know where to find him. Yeah. So it's obviously since then. And now look at you now, just fucking traveling around doing parkour with butt shit knees. Very, very grateful (laughs) for the opportunity. Yeah. But hopefully I can train properly soon. Fingers crossed. So Mm -hmm. why do you think your knees have got bad? Because I have my own theories. Um, Well, I just think it's over. It was, I think last year I overtrained massively. Nothing was, to do with the fact that you started eating vegetables. Well, I did, yeah, massively improve my diet, which people keep joking about, messaging me, saying, oh, you, you improved your diet and now your knees are bad. I genuinely, like, I need a scientific study. Well, I think like, uh, also what we talked about earlier, I lost, like, I tried to shred down, lost a lot of weight, and that could also be contributed maybe because I was- direct. Wouldn't that make your knees better? Nah, because someone, I read online basically that a theory that technically fat, having no fat around your joints could be unhealthy. Okay. Um, if you're taking big impacts, but I'm not sure how accurate that is. So I'm allowed to eat pizza. But I'm going to see, yeah, but I'm gonna I'm go I've booked in to see a physio um, uh, okay. when I go home. So hopefully I can get some information. Nice. And yeah, find out more about. What does that mean for your training at the moment? Then do you have to like? Yeah, it's, ha- it's any rehab or? Yeah, I've been doing loads of rehab with the slump board, like knees over toes, eccentric squatting and stuff, which mm. is is definitely helping. But um, there's just still just sessions where you can't warm up, like. Yeah, That's some big. days you just can't train, where some days you can get lucky and be able to warm up and then have an okay Did session. you find it easier in Manila where it was warmer? See, weirdly, no, which made me more worried. Yeah, because some people go to hot countries and they're like, yeah. I feel warmer. Yeah, like, because when I had patella tendonitis in 2017, it was a different area of the knee, but it was like that. So yeah. when, it, when it was warmer, when we went to the US in 2017, it just like wasn't, yeah, wasn't yeah, yeah. really, wasn't a problem. But yeah, this is worrying because when I went there, it was still really sore and there was days where I just couldn't train. Weird. So who knows? Very Does that weird. mean you have to like watch out for certain moves and like shit? Um, like certain everything things? It's just everything hurts. Everything George so does. Sorry. Everything hurts. <laughs> That's not what I wanted to hear. Yeah. So, oh, some things are fine, well, nah, some things aren't. My style is very punching the floor really, I just think really about hard. The, the, uh, the crawling. Kong, yeah, crawling. <laughs> exactly, the yeah, yeah. Explosive that's, fronts. That's why I do every session. So yeah. It's like, it's not good. It's not good. It's all mm. right. You just do, do a year of handstands and- I have been banging out yeah. the handstands to be fair. Have you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sick. I love a good handstand, me. <laughs> George did a, a muscle up with 10 kg attached to him earlier. Yeah, but impressive. you did also. Yeah, very badly. Uh, Keelan also did it. We're part yeah. of the club, all three yeah. of us. 10 kg muscle up club. Yeah. yeah. Um, what you, I kind of I was sitting in here, but you were in there talking about work and things. So like, how's work been for you post? I can't remember when we last had you on, but like obviously pandemic was kind yeah, of dead for be, everyone. Yeah, it must be. It was before pandemic. Yeah, but you've you've had some good jobs and things. 
Yeah, luckily, like, luckily I've had consistent like it's work just on Instagram and stuff. And even back home, I've still had like uh, bef- pretty consistent performance work, um, coaching and stuff. So for me, it's actually been pretty, luckily been pretty chill. Um, so is that grateful for that? Like, because ju- you've got a, what, what is it, manager, agent? Yeah, agency. Is that yeah. predominantly coming through that? Um, yeah, yeah. He's he's really, they've really helped me out a lot. Um, mm. Especially even when jobs come to me and then I refer it on to them. It really helps just because obviously D- it's common in parkour. We don't really know what things are worth. Yeah, the yeah. Word. yeah so it's really helped in that kind of way. And D- just like making everything super clear for me and how to deliver it. It's, Did they approach you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. They came to me, just said that my engagement was good. It does seem to be the case that I think the athletes with agents or managers it can really help yeah. because yeah, it's that exactly what you just said where it's like, yeah. I mean, Rachel the other day was messaging me because she was getting some offers for something and if she was like, what shall I charge? And it's like, mm, I don't that's know. The, yeah, that's I, the hard I, yeah. thing because before I was the exact same. You just, you don't know. It, it's the fear of ask for way too little yeah and then they're just laughing because obviously you're there they're getting a really good deal or it's vice versa you ask for too much and then they're they like, no. they can just find another person like yeah they can always find someone else who's gonna want to do the job so because you yeah. used to have some management back in the day didn't you i was really? with is it jlm jlm yeah, yeah yeah which is seven someone else seven down yeah yeah which were pretty oh i didn't really get many jobs through them but what i was going to say was it's <laughs> yeah it's a very tall man crawling underneath the cameras <laughs> by a sound tall man no what what's nice with uh well i guess you were saying sometimes you get do you get jobs through them sometimes or not really yeah no no yeah they've, yeah. they've got me yeah good so it's like jobs. the combination of like if you get a job then you can give it to them, to them yeah but also there's now an opportunity to get jobs through them so it's exactly. just it doubles the chance exactly which yeah is really just, nice. it's made things yeah way 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 mm. easier like the boxer advert i did the other day yeah like uh, last yeah. One, Instagram. Two weeks ago, they they got like for example the, yeah that's, like something that they that got was actually me. a sick ad was it you just do flips and because your boxes. The, the, i wanted to keep you pulled or, it off i, I feel like i couldn't it, do that i wanted to keep it organic because um they wanted like you know bo- boxer like posing like underwear shots yeah. but i'm um, no it's so much better you didn't because i like but even my agent he helped with that he was like yeah george keep it organic like yeah, do, it's like do what you want to do like really so because at get, the end yeah, of the day the customer the, the customer or the viewer knows like we seeing george doing it although we know like oh like he's sponsored yeah. post or whatever mm-hmm. I would much rather see you doing some flips in boxes than if you were posing, I'd go, that's not George. Exactly. Mm. Well, that's well, it. Yeah. And it's like, yeah. and it doesn't sell me the boxes really. No. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. And I'll tell you one thing, I'm not, not even just saying it because of the paid partnership. The boxers are amazing. Like Dom, yeah, Dom, Dom sick. was on the same ad campaign as me. And he literally messaged me the same thing. He was like, yo, but the boxers are actually What's bang. the brand? Step one. So it's like Step a vegan, ve- it's vegan boxers made from like bamboo. Uh, oh yeah. Sick. But they're Bamboo's actually lovely. I've never experienced it, but they're actually unbelievable yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. to be honest. So. I mean, I'm still on my next. Shout out, man. Ne- next, Molly back and next. Yeah. Next, next is up me, there. Me and if George. You don't know, if you don't know. <laughs> like on the next boxes, mate, you, If you honestly. don't know, bro, me and Giles are sending each other photos on Christmas. <laughs> Being like, yo, did you get the next boxers? I sent him a photo of my next, my mo- mo- pack of next boxers. And, really and he, he, he said, I knew before I yeah. even opened the, the photo. The notification what it was came up saying, Giles sent a photo on Messenger. I let <laughs> on, on Christmas Day. Day and I knew <laughs> it was going to be ne- new next boxers. They're just reliable and they're like, the fit's good, the length's yeah. good. They're just a consistent yeah. boxer. Yeah. They, don't, they don't shrink. Yeah. There's, yeah. And they're like, right, good. They're, they're, well, they're well priced for a multi pack. Because yeah. the problem about these like brands, like Step One or. or yeah, I don't know how much they cost. Uh, what's the one Robbie had? Ball oh, bags, ball yeah, bags. It's, it's, yeah. it's like it's like Scottish twenty five quid for one pair. And it's like it's fucking hard. <sighs> yeah. Even though they're really good, it's like it's mm, like that's you, I want at least like when you go away, you just went away. You took a fucking George took a backpack to the Philippines. Yeah, but it's a big backpack. True, but like how many how many pairs of boxes do you think? Six, six. Mm. Not but even a, not even though. around seven. Yeah, but I washed stuff, so we got lot. We I did See, laundry. So. I feel like I have a slightly irrational fear of shitting myself, and I would probably take. <laughs> Yeah, but like, you're the type of guy who'd wear, who'd like, wait, is it you keep your socks on longer than your boxers? Absolutely or no problem wearing multiple pairs of socks. Mate, but boxes. I, I'd change, if I had to, I'd change socks more than boxers. But your feet are your feet, whereas yeah, you, but your feet actually reek. Yeah, like but you, can you poo from when, your I know, arm. Man, yeah. <laughs> when, when have you ever been in a room and someone's like, I don't know, had Fight the same boxes? All the time. No, but had the same boxes on for like two days straight. You can't smell the boxes. If someone's wearing socks for two that days straight true. in a room, true. you smell it. It's fucking true. stinky. Yeah, that, so I'd prefer, yeah. if I could choose, you have to change your socks more than your boxes. I mean, mm. ideally, you just change it every change day. Them both. But if you're traveling, yeah. <laughs> yeah. If you're traveling, I reckon if I was doing a trip to Asia, knowing it was going to be sweaty, I would. Yeah. I'd probably pack all the bo- bo- good boxes I have. I've yeah. probably got I don't know about twelve pairs of next boxes yeah. at home. 
some of them are pretty ropey. They got holes in them, but like, um, mm. and probably a similar amount of socks. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's yeah, what, that's I, what yeah. I, I do too. I just, I just match them. Well, it's bloggy. I know oh, hold up, bloggy, well, bloggy's info. He's oh, here comes bloggy. He's, uh, well, so I've got one pair of wool. <laughs> Marine, my solution, right? M- merino wool. Is Saks Adventure Quest S A X X. Those things are fucking amazing. And how much do they cost? They're twenty five for a pair, right? Yeah, exactly. But, yeah, they're that's, literally, that's extortion. Too much. literally wear them for two days and they'll be fine. They dry in five minutes and they cradle your nuts, man. But why would I want them to? <laughs> Although, I kind of get it though, because like, I'm not with these people wearing like Travis. I'm always giving him abuse for wearing baggy boxers. I'm like, bro, yeah, you're yeah. an adult. Stop wearing baggy mm. boxers. It's you not got, comfortable. They're not too even much comfortable. Though, yeah, they, they roll up, yeah, as well. especially for training. Like, and they're the not always comes out. You're popping out. Yeah, yeah, they're not. Have you ever slept in like baggy boxers? Yeah, they yeah. give you wedgie while you're moving yeah, around. Yeah, not stick to your leg. You don't want that. I don't get it. But why would I want my boxers to dry and fight? Why would I want my boxers to get wet? Because you can wash them, so you only need to bring two pairs uh, for a trip. Oh, you and keep you can washing them. Wash, oh, wash one, yeah, wear yeah, yeah. one. Yeah, <laughs> that's what I did in the summer, and it's it's brilliant. And you got to try it before you. Seven pound yeah. merino yeah. or bamboo socks. They dry the seven same Seven pound for a pair of socks, yeah, mate. I'm bro. spending seven pounds on like a ten pack. The of point socks. is, that's all you need. Support those companies, brother. Mm. I'm saying that I also pay for sh- very cheap boxes and socks. And yeah. Well, there you go. Now you've heard us talk about boxes <laughs> what a and socks conversation. for a long time. If you want to sponsor us or the yeah. other way around, we'll plug boxes. your we'll plug your yeah. pants. If yeah. you want your underwear plug reviewed, plug your pants. Yeah, if you want a good review of your underwear, send it send to it. the send it to us. He's got Batman chest hair. Send it, yeah, send it to us. I'll do <laughs> some flips. A funny thing is, obviously, no one's seen Instagram. In that post, I did a double back and landed on my face. <laughs> I can. Can I see the clip? We I can, can do a live you reaction. As in, you didn't you didn't post it. No, 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 I didn't post it. Yeah. I landed on my face. In your boxes. <laughs> yeah. In your bockies. In my bockies. That. Because good. I was just like, I did the, all the other flips and then I was like. You could have been saying, like. I was just saying the double back and I just jumped way too far back. Look oh, at this. amazing. Bro. Bro. Like, I've did it off obviously walls, oh, that, are, slow walls that are half the height of this, but look. Oh, oh, wow. Like properly friction Mate, burn the my caption, nose. The caption for that is- Friction burn my nose. I was too distracted by how these, <laughs> whatever these boxes are called, how they yeah. feel and how they, they cradle. Well, I was my actually yeah. eating That's sand. That's an actual like, yeah. yeah. Like, I was eating sand for like Days. a solid day. Did your yeah. nose hurt? Did you squish yeah, your no, nose? Yeah, no, like a friction burn my nose was like all cut. But um, if you want to see that one clip. of them ones where you just, yeah, you, you just have, I knew because when I jumped back and tucked, I was like, yeah, I've jumped way too far back. You got no but, other option to hold yeah, on. Yeah, you have no other option but to hold on. But the worst the part G-force. is, the worst part is I thought I was making it to my um, hands and feet and then just face full of Mate, sand. did you see um, Oliver Norden? Oliver Norden. Yeah, that was, that, yeah that's bad. Yeah. That's, that's just bad. like every single step goes wrong. It's like, yeah. oh, he's gonna he's gonna shit. No, no, he's Cause gonna even, knee. Yeah, because even when he's bailing, yeah, it's like, oh, it's it's bad, but it's not that bad. Yeah. And then it just gets worse, 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 <laughs> and worse. I think just because of the water underneath, yeah. like obviously he got distracted by the water yeah. or he slips or whatever, and it's just like, oh. His hands do this, they go to save and they go. Yeah, he gets snakes by his own slide. hands. They're just and like, he, nah. And even when you see his face after, like his face looks worse than what you even would have imagined. It, it looks, looks like he basically hit his head so hard that his skin just went. Yeah. Like yeah. it didn't tear, it just split on impact. Mm-hmm. I mean, um, if there's anyone who can take bail, it's Mr. Bale. He can't do it. Yeah. So I assume he's perfectly fine. Speaking of um, like work and sponsor posts, did you guys see Toby's Hugo Boss advert? Yeah, I actually yeah, thought yeah, that was sick. very sick. That's yeah. sick. Yeah, he, that's he, sick. He, he's the man for the that. Voice With the voice was serious. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it was serious, but because of his like kind of uh, accent type of way he speaks, it's just yeah, really yeah. cool. I yeah. feel like he really suits that. Brandon, like yeah. I feel yeah. like he really pulls it off. He looks like a suave dude. Yeah. Yeah. And also they've got the red accents popping. Yeah, yeah, it hair. looks, it looks mm-hmm. like, yeah. No, I thought it was very cool. It looked really good. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, so I was do you, that. I was gonna say like, how, how do you have any guidance on like how other athletes could get management or reach out for it? Or would you think the first step is basically try and improve your engagement and make that's, yourself- Yeah, I feel like that's mainly the key. Um, it's just improving the engagement because when you're doing stuff like that, I suppose that's what brands are looking for. The yeah. main thing is just like the how well you're engaging with your own audience. Um, I think also like having your own style is a, is appealing as well because it's like then they can look at your page and go, cool. We know if we give this guy something, he's gonna like it's yeah, gonna it fit within. Yeah, 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 but it's gonna fit within that box of him. But that works for his audience rather than yeah. like constantly trying to appeal to different. Well, that's things. yeah, that's the thing. Like I'm trying to just keep it organic. Obviously, parkour is what I enjoy. Yeah. Like my page is all parkour so if mm-hmm. i'm 
Because it would feel very things. disingenuous. If yeah, you, exactly. Yeah. I'm only going to do things that are pretty organic to parkour. Mm-hmm. Like genuinely, I would use, like I just said about the boxers, I genuinely rate that product. Um, yeah, yeah. Yeah, so. Is there any like actual physical advice you, you could give to people to improve their engagement if they were uploading um, parkour to Instagram? Because I know you have your yeah, ways just of like, like filming at, or... Just looking at the, like what works. So obviously you can check your analytics on your page. So just be constantly looking at what works for your audience and um, check what's like, just keep <laughs> keep notes of what, what's helping you grow. Um, I know Travis is, is big into this stuff as well. Mm. Um, and then, no, well, now it's reels. It's all about reels. I was in denial for a long time, as was Travis. We <laughs> I were, thought you said rails. No, no, real, real. Instagram, yeah. Oh, real. yeah. So we were, in, we were in denial for a long time, thinking, nah, posts are always going to do better. And to, to a degree, yes, but... It's definitely the way to grow your account, like in terms of followers. I think that's the way you, you have to go now. Reels what, are just and weirdly why do you, pop, they pop off. Yeah, right? why do you think that is? Why do just you just the way they hit the algorithm on Instagram, they've made it that way. Which well, because Instagram are competing with TikTok, TikTok yeah, and so it has to reels be, are the equivalent. Yeah, so reels is a way that it can go viral to anyone. Whereas mm. if you put a square post, the chance of it going viral your followers, is, yeah, is so yeah. slim because Instagram doesn't mm. boost that to as many people. Whereas when you got a reel, it can be boosted to everyone. And now, yes. and now the it's reels doing, feed isn't just your followers. No, yeah, yeah. That's why. Yeah, and exactly. now it's, do, it's exactly. doing the whole like, uh, you can like take the audio thing, which is what they obviously have on TikTok. So yeah, yeah that's all it is. Like the reason mm. you're getting shitloads of views is because Instagram goes, well, we want you to stay on Instagram, not TikTok. Exactly. So they, mm. they boost it. So and then we, yeah. we go numbers, yay. yeah. Exactly, <laughs> exactly. If your video booms at the start, like on a reel, it's just mm-hmm. gonna go up, up, yeah, up, up, yeah, up, yeah. up, 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 up. Yeah. And do you think there's a way of filming parkour on your phone that like helps more uh, compared to? Because there's some people I thoughts see, on the wide angle. Uh, ah, yeah. yeah. See, I don't know. There's some pe- I think there's a choice between wide and not wide. Like you have uh, yeah. to be careful because sometimes you can use wide and you could actually fuck a post. Yeah, yeah definitely. Like I think I use maybe. wide sometimes. I was actually a fan of using wide for a long time there. I mm. used it on nearly every single post, but just because I wanted to get tighter shots mm. that were closer. But I really don't think it matters, but I agree that sometimes, sometimes. It, it can ruin the post for sure. But then like the and shots is, you got, it basically, if you're but dynamic sometimes I can it. also, but sometimes I can also, also can make the post. Yeah. Yeah. Like, you just like don't know. The, you, the shots you did of um, Max mm. and even Max's ones of you that you kind of set up the frame of wearing the, the new stuff. By the way, it's on the store now. You can go and get it. Yeah. Um, half the comments were about the filming. Really, yeah. Because it was so, it felt so dynamic and it mm, was like the perfect. you can do that. Yeah. It's yeah. Re- I think it, if you just go wide and you stand side on at the wrong angle and the jump looks smaller, it's mm-hmm. like, well, that was pointless. Yeah. yeah. And I've heard so. you say before, when, I don't know when it was, but when we're filming for Instagram or whatever, you do want to f- try and fill the frame or just get, yeah, yeah, you don't yeah. want to be really far you, away. You yeah. Know? yeah. Like that Especially seems on just, Instagram. Yeah. On Instagram, it just seems to be that I see a lot of people filming really far back and it's like, you're never really engaged that much. If yeah, mm. it just seems to be, if you're filling the frame and it's more of a tight shot that people engage with it more. I yeah. don't know why I mean, If you think is. about, um, well, I mean, it makes loads of sense because yeah. the frame, there's more action in the frame. It's more clear. Everything's just more clear. What What's mm-hmm. happening in the shot. If you think about the old clear. technique that Max and Benji used to use a lot with a the thumb zoom yeah. on like rooftop stuff and they'd always be punched in really tight initially. Yeah, like far and back it worked. Yeah, that, yeah, like that's a perfect example. Whereas if you just fall back with no punch. Yeah. Yeah. That, that's, yeah, that's It's why the, like the dad cams are so good because you can basically replicate that thing. Yeah, you can zoom in. So many people, right, recently, Henry Blue just bought one, have been buying our pro dad cam. The same one. And I don't want to like, you know, be the guy who's like, I think that we, but we bought that first fucking. Uh, Jimmy, de- Jimmy, when we were in America, was actually talking about. We bought um, the f- also, that, f- that first one, the one on the left. Yeah, he was also talking about pre spitting in the wind. I remember. No one used fucking you, you, handicap. Yeah, yeah. For that the, is you got so it for true. yeah. You bought Sasha, it for the UK tour. Yeah. Didn't, yeah, yeah. Didn't Sasha and Toby for the um for the capstone capstone they bought? Yeah, yeah, yeah. something like that. Yeah, it is extremely hard. Like, I don't. Yeah, I mean, obviously, everyone's <laughs> like yeah. taking inspiration from other things, but I don't want to claim that we basically. <laughs> revolutionized parkour filming no we didn't but you know no but it's just it's just interesting that we got it but the sony um yeah. f what that one it's like the p something Z, sony z90 oh bangs and then the other one's the fx 53 i think it is i mean even i even i can use them and i'm well that's i know nothing about like filming on a camera I I got, that's even what you i mean, can use though, it that's yeah. what you need especially to shoot parkour that first one i got literally because it was like oh we're doing the uk tour and then we're going to america <laughs> yeah I'm traveling with a bunch of people who don't know how to use yeah. a, 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 like basically the FS700 or the RX100 because they're 
So yeah, you have to set it up yeah, and, yeah. and you could fuck a shot. Like, and then you give it to someone like yeah. Marks yeah, and, and he's like, I don't know how to film and just goes, yeah. I'm a genius. Yeah. He just had it glued to his hand the whole America mm. trip. Yeah. Remember he got that epic um, sun shot when we were in Joshua Tree? Yeah. It's like- With, with um, Eric. Like, yeah, 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 yeah. It's yeah, like yeah. one of the most epic fists. shots. I'm like, Yeah, yeah. No, it's true. I mean, I, I just, I think it's great to have something you can film parkour that doesn't take away from the parkour. Yeah. Because that's what you do when you film exactly, on phone. Exactly, yeah. You, fig- you forget about making it like cinematic and you just focus on the parkour. And sometimes that makes it cinematic yeah. in its own way, which is really Well, and also nice. it's, I mean, the thing that I've always stood by for years is like the best way to film parkour is show the parkour as yeah. truly as possible. Of course. Yeah. Like, I love yeah. making things exaggerated or cinematic and having lots of cuts. But at the end of the day, the mm-hmm. best formula is like, because at the end of the day, you guys are risking your lives or your limbs doing something that's hard and stressful. And yes, I could make it really arty, but at the end of the day, the best representation is yeah, the best representation. Like yeah. that's, that's it. So yeah, I just tell people, keep me in the middle of the frame. That's, yeah. all, that's, please. All, I, that's all I need yet. Please. Just film me, keep me in the middle, please. That's it. Yeah. Uh-huh. And then just let the movement do the rest. Yeah, mm-hmm. for sure. Nice. Um, so what you got coming up? What's you going to Italy? Italy for Eden Prototype with Travis. Oh, Eden um, Prototype. Have still you been going for? Yeah, yeah. Me, you I have. went. Me, me, Ed, and just. Um, oh, endless. Yeah, I, yeah. We I went. went we endless. went 20, 2019. Um, 2019. Fuck, that was I the year. It was we, the year after you went because we went. Yeah, we went two years in a row. Yeah, and it's actually I, I've really. If, fucking yeah, yeah. It was it. me, Ed, and just and Jaden. That's yeah. who it was. I'm jealous. Yeah, yeah. we, yeah. we so went jealous. 2019. It was like amazing event. The outdoor spots are. Fairly yeah, good yeah. As well. uh, we went to them last time. Then yeah, they invited us back, me and Travis, mm. for this year. Which Are you going to Oslo as well? Uh, no, I don't think so. No, I can't remember when that is. That's yeah, soon. I think that's what, soon. The, uh, um, OMG. Oh, that's later in May. Yeah, because I was. I want to go, but I'm not vaccinated. Uh, yeah, they asked me, and then I was sort of really keen. And then Sarah went, "Yeah, that's our 10 year anniversary." And I was like, "Yeah, okay, well, <laughs> yeah. that's it." <laughs> 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 I get the hint. <laughs> that's out the window. <laughs> yeah, I kind of. I mean, priorities should probably try and do something special, which is very stressful. Priorities. We never really celebrate anniversaries, but we're like 10 years is. Ten years. Yeah. Ten years is a big one. So that is a big one. Yeah, it's a very big one. Mm-hmm. Um, what other work have you got coming up? Um, yeah, I got. Um, and how's Boo? Are you still doing Boohoo stuff? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm still doing Boohoo stuff, but I've got um, me and me, Ed and Travis have a performance in Madrid, but that's at the end of June. Busy boy. Yeah. End of June, but it's like quite a big performance um, in front of a couple of thousand people, I'm pretty sure. Oh. So it should be good. Nice. Um, good fun. Sick. Can you say it only for like two minutes? Yeah, I think the performance so is chill. Sure. Yeah, I think it's the awesome. performance is like- Two minutes is still performance Relatively though. short, oh, it's, it's, but it's, I think, I think um, it's like we do the performance each night for a couple of nights, but yeah, the performance is- Oh, uh, okay. Uh, I think, I'm not 100% sure, so- I don't know. We, we still need to get all the details, but mm-hmm. I'm just, that's just what Ed told me, yeah. like starting. But when, yeah, it should be, should be super cool. When Jordan was last here, he went back and then he went off to do some shows and it was like, I think he had to do a one minute show himself. Yeah, that's hard. Every hour or something. Yeah, that, that's actually, that sounds every easy, hour. but yeah. it's not easy. No, or it was like every half, it was something, and it was like, wow. I don't know, eight shows in a day and you basically like, you get a bit of really cool then you have to warm up. And he said the last couple of things, one of the last things he had to do was like side flip a group of people. And he said every time as it was getting later in the day. He just the last people. He would, no, he, but apparently it was, I think it was the same amount because it was like other performers. But yeah, he was yeah. just like, I'm going to fucking land them. <laughs> like, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm getting tired. So, yeah, that yeah. doesn't sound like a lot, but when you realize, like when you try and- Well, it's a, it was a solo performance Yeah, as well, when like, you try and do like, for example, if you're doing a parkour competition, one minute is an insanely oh, long run. Oh, do a line. Yeah, 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 well, yeah a one yeah. minute line is outrageous. Mm. Like if you're you seen, that's, yeah. Uh, yeah when have you ever seen, seen a one minute line on Instagram? He can yeah. do yeah. it, but like, it. yeah. One minute whole line. Unless it's like pure, it's just yeah. so technical hard. flow. If you're like, yeah. seen or aired and you just have unbelievable stamina, mm, then yeah. you, you can do it. But if mm. you're anyone else, it's nearly impossible. Fuck that. So two minutes spread between you, Ed and Trav, is that what? Yeah, is? but there's other sports incorporated in it as well. So there yeah. could be things coming. Lots of like, go to the side and go like- Go to the side on yeah, your knees. a bit of clapping. Back yeah, up, yeah, point at the skateboarders. Oh uh, yeah, well, I don't know, yeah. We'd still have to do the practice and stuff. So, yeah. Maybe a bit of dancing. We'll find out. But okay. no, it sounds like it sounds like it'll be super cool. I yeah. love shows like that where they're like, oh yeah, we need to do a little bit of choreograph like dancing at the end. And then you get involved. Yeah. yeah. I mean, I've never had to do them, but I've been with I athletes. Did, I've had to watch athletes like go through stuff like that. And I'm yeah. just like. <laughs> I, did one, I did a big one. World, I did the World Police and Fire Games in, in Belfast when I was like 15. 
It was like we had we were practicing for it for weeks. It was like in front of like a decent number. It was like five thousand people. It was in front Fucking of. Fucking hell. It was like yeah, we had to do a full, full choreograph. Like it was almost like a dance for yeah. some of it. It was like counting the beats and everything. Like. Had like the property, one, yeah, two, three, three four, four, five, yeah, six, seven, yeah like yeah. properly kind of beats. It was like the most nerve wracking thing oh. ever. But yeah, what was that for? The World Police and Fire Games. It's like what I don't it? know. It's like what some, do they do? Just sounds quite official. Yeah, it was like some ceremony. So yeah, I don't know. They try and like break some sort of records and stuff. And then what, police this, and firemen just fighting yeah, each other. Yeah, yeah. No, they don't fight each other. I don't, <laughs> I don't know exactly what it entails. Versus but there's, fire. there's bro. yeah. Every every year they have like it in a different country. So just randomly, it was Belfast's turn. Sick. So the council got us to do some um, parkour. Mm. Gotta love councils. I'd love to like just just general council meetings where they come up with some of these ideas for things. They're like, we should do this. Yeah. It's like we were talking to Chris the other day and we we're talking about park all parks and like how they always crop up in just like dead areas of dead Why? towns. It's because councils, he basically, the, the best explanation he could give is it gets the end of like the yearly budget and they've got a bit of money left over. And they and need like, to spend it. Yeah. yeah, and they have to spend it. And like why? one of the council workers, like godsons, does a bit of parkour and they're like, yeah, we'll just bang a park all park in that sort of random council I mean, estate. I'm grateful. It's better than building a lot of other things. Yeah, true. Yeah. But it has happened recently again in Belfast. Oh my Jack God. You, you had that one built that was just... Yeah, it's like reels. That are <laughs> it's literally like this. Yeah, like, on the ground. Just a load of reels on the ground. What? And then I haven't they, seen this. They call, you got a picture of it. It's there's obscene. A re- there's a reason you haven't seen it. It's terrible. <laughs> it's not a park. It, it looks like an art thing yeah, on the they, ground. They called it's it, all this high. They called it an urban movement space and directly said this is built for parkour. It's a trip hazard. That's all it yeah, is. Yeah, yeah. Literally, <laughs> literally, it's like a bunch of reels this high off the ground. And don't get me wrong, you can actually have fun training on it. Yeah. Um, just having it. But it's just like, why? Like, if you're going to spend money on something, at least contact someone who has something to do with par- parkour. Don't just build a couple of reels on the ground and then wonder why no, no, one's, trained no one's using it. Because yeah. um, they're talking about now ripping that down. Cause, yeah, because it's, it's not. It's like, well, you've just wasted the money. Like, you could have just asked one parkour person, yeah. and we could have told you, build this reel three feet higher, yeah. build this one this height, and they could have actually made it decent. But I wonder what goes through their minds, people who don't do parkour. But it's exactly what we were saying. I think they're just like the council sometimes. They have the money and they just think, oh, we'll just. But like, just what do they see? In some or do they just see, like. Yeah, who who builds it? It's like they they probably, the architect. They probably went with something yeah, out there. Like. Yeah, they probably <laughs> just think, yeah, we can. Well, it is kind of true. You can move on anything. But yeah. They probably are just like, oh, we'll just build some random objects. But like, do they not don't make it too high? They don't in case look the kids up, hurt like, themselves. We'll look up some parkour parks first just to make sure. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. It's like they don't even do that. It's as easy as that because. I've literally never night. seen a parkour park this bad, <laughs> ever. It, it looks like miniature bike rails. Yeah, no, literally, like, like, when I look at it, it just looks like, it's almost like they're grind rails for learning how to grind on skateboards. Because they're short, aren't they? Like, yeah, but then even for that, they're in, like, squares and stuff. Yeah. So it's like, you can't even really use it for grinding. You can, like, I see I see more people skateboarding on it than I do doing parkour. Hold mm. up, hold up. He's going to go get the parkour park. The mini parkour park. <laughs> did you see the um the parkour park that Stora went to when they did that like worst oh, parkour yeah, park? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We it's went not, to that one as well, not which is weird. That different to that. What isn't? Oh, oh, you mean like to, oh, to literally scale. to scale to scale? Yeah, <laughs> to literally. Scale. This, yeah, it's this high off the ground. That's how high the reels are off the it's ground. It's so now. weird. Rachel made that. Yeah, Rachel, Rachel made that. Rachel which is made this sick. in her, like a good park. In that a, would be that would be a very good park. And yeah. there's, there's other bits in a DT. Uh, Class it's at school. Other walls that come out. It's there, got right? everything. If you, look at that, if you got look at that, it's got everything. Yeah. Mm-hmm. There's a Kong Pre. There's one to anyone ladies, listening, Rachel glass. basically built. I think it's actual like cement. Yeah, yeah. Like uh, she made like a DT project, and she's like soldered or done mini worlds to like yeah, make little brand, bars. Brandon on it and stuff. Yeah, it's really sick. It's actually super cool. Like if you built this to, to scale, it would be in pretty sick parkour park. Yeah, yeah. And it's like something for, that's a good example of how you could be minimal. Because you wouldn't need a big space to build something no, like that. No, very true. There's some really good parkour parks that are quite small. Exactly. Yeah, yeah. Then we were talking about Tondon. Me and Bloggy were talking about Tondon mm. Parkour Park earlier, and it's like a great example. It's not big at all. Yeah. But it's really The funny thing about like the really Star video. For training. The Star video, they're like the worst parkour parks. It's like they all still did really good shit yeah, there. Yeah, so it's yeah, like yeah. it kind of proves that you it's, can. Yeah. I mean, I feel like if you're a good athlete, they're mm. like, as they're such good athletes, you yeah, can do yeah. good stuff mm-hmm. anywhere. Like you can take them anywhere. I mean, that Crawley still, Park. That's that what I was saying to George. Just, it's, it's weird. They're yeah. all, when they, yeah, when they make rail setups, like for lashing, we went there. Yeah, yeah we went yeah, there. We went there. But like they're just all squares and really small and tight. There's yeah, no room for you lashing. can't swing. Apart from the one you did. Well, which I, big. yeah, the one I yeah. did. Which showed the store because they mentioned it in their video. Did nice. they? Yeah, yes. Yeah. Did any of them try it? Oh. Nah, nah. Uh, you're the nah, king. Nah. <laughs> 
Still doing it. Um, there was something I was going to say, and now I've forgotten. Well, you're, you get, you're getting old. You better remember yeah. them. Yeah. You're oh. getting too old for this. <laughs> Should we make a motors park or park then? Oh, we've already got the plans for it. Yeah, there we go. We'll just scale that up. Just, mm-hmm. just no, two, well, two, the, fing- two fingers. No, I was saying we could probably just make that a bit more solid. Oh, and then we actually start kind of riding across it. Well, it's similar to the one that George is yeah, very talking true. about. So, yeah. Man, God, I need to train. I haven't trained in a while. Mm-hmm. I yeah, look at you. You're on your fitness grind and you're not even training. I mean, I'm training. Fuck Now nah, you're training, though. but I mean, yeah. like, if you were to train at the same time, yeah. you could get, like, it's getting out. You could get crazy, crazy progression. Sarah's about to work now, so I'm on oh, okay. dad duty dad two duties. days a week. And Charles is in hardcore dad mode. Yeah. <laughs> hardcore adult mode. How much How much per week do you train, George? Uh, at the minute, because of my knees, like, once, maybe twice. Um, so not very much. Just gets, oh, the, gets the boohoo post. Not it? very much. Uh, <laughs> out of his door, so does it, goes back inside. What, what do you do? What is, is it still the same stuff in the downtime? Yeah. A bit of a... Uh, yeah, better in skate. Bit of nice. yeah. yeah. Bit of some documentaries, just whatever. Yeah. Um, yeah, basically going on loads of walks. Um, and that's basically it. Walks? Yeah, man, I'm walk- I walk all the time. You're a walking man now. And um, I've been doing a bit of rollerblading and stuff just because I can just cruise around the skate park and I don't really have to take impact or jump really hard. Very true, like, yeah. I don't do any hard tricks or anything Wait, any- hold up. anymore. I just cruise You didn't around. used to walk and your na- knees never hurt. Maybe it's the walking. It could be. I have it's been- the walking and the vegetables. I honestly shit. think you're- You need to go back to your old lifestyle. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Like maybe unhealthy living stuff. an extremely inflammatory lifestyle somehow was actually better for me. I, I think you're just a, yeah. <laughs> Lots of heart Genetically. Burn. It's yeah. like, did you ever watch Drake and Josh? <laughs> yeah. Mm, no. You know, there's I an episode where he Josh. eats the junk, he stops eating junk food and he breaks out and like, a massive rash and has all these medical problems. Mate, it's like um, I feel like that's what's happening to me, like in my knees. There's a there's a I, I always say only sunny in Philadelphia. It's always sunny, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, always sunny. Where they uh they they get there's a there's like an illness and they quarantine themselves and they all think they're getting ill and like dying and they get like all horribly sick and then actually like much fun and it, it takes them down one by one and they're just falling apart and then it's actually just because they all stopped drinking alcohol because they were like just getting withdrawal yeah, yeah, yeah they were just alcohol. getting withdrawal and they're like oh okay we're fine yeah, like, yeah, maybe yeah. it's fucking your withdrawal symptoms for I think more your runescape lifestyle. less walking yeah no or just keep doing this and yeah, you know yeah. you'll get through this yeah I don't know yeah, withdrawal that, like yeah my diet before was terrible but Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, I mean, a huge part of me is very glad that you're now cleaning it up, but also I'm scared for your knees. So I'm also scared for my knees, but I feel like it's probably just down to like overtraining. And mm-hmm. yeah. I think that um, I, yeah, I haven't taken the best care of my body in terms of I stretch really well always, um, but I think just not lifting. Ed is always someone who always told me, like he said, George, you need to lift, like to preserve your body, the stability, all the Im- imbalances and stuff stability you need that and like i actually went lifting with max in the philippines because the hotel had a gym oh, really and he took me like just to show me the basics of because he also had knee problems so he was really really helpful yeah and showed me like obviously the correct techniques and stuff and we're doing like bulgarian squat split so- squats and stuff <laughs> squid spots um, yeah sick so he was showing me like the correct techniques and stuff and one thing that i noticed massively straight away is the stability in my body and them deep positions is terrible like really you see me see when i go down, like in the Bulgarian squat squat, my legs are like this. Like, yeah, well, that's, that's like the that. whole point like, of that movement. All over so. the place. So I think like, and Ed was someone who's been telling me that for a long time. So I think that that's definitely a big, like, so I think there, there's definitely just huge imbalances I've created in my legs that are, yeah. yeah. I don't know what the imbalances are, but hopefully when I see the physio, he can look at me and help me pinpoint what, what needs to be um, fixed. You do hear a lot, to be fair, that like, yeah, if you're smart with strength training, you can basically do huge, hugely beneficial things to like injury yeah, prevention. Exactly, and I think like I've definitely neglected that. And I'm, tr- I was trying in America. I was telling Travis the same thing. I was like, man, you're 19 now. It's the worst thing though. It's like people fucking tell exactly, you these things, yeah, and you like, don't pe- listen. Pe- people told me when I when I was 19, people were saying, oh, you know, you might be really strong, but there's, you know, you need to take care of your body for the future, and I. You just think, ah, oh, no, you yeah, know, yeah. I'll feel this good for, for forever. And then- you, How old are you now? 24. Yeah. So five years on, it's like, I my knees feel terrible. Like, re- Oh, so, no. <laughs> yeah. So, so- What are you saying to all the people who are- Yeah, that's what, that's what I'm saying. If you're young out there and you're a good parkour athlete, you're, you feel strong, you feel healthy, 
that doesn't mean that that's going to last forever. Even if you're progressing, you're feeling good, you should be doing the work in the background that's going to allow that to keep happening safely because that's what I feel to do, I think. That's and, the Instagram um, snip there. Yeah, that, mm. that's what I feel to do and that's why my knees are in this in this way. So basically, if Ed Scott tells you something, probably listen to it because he's yeah. Ed Scott. Well, yeah, Ed Scott yeah, is the closest to athlete. I would say in parkour, like he is an athlete. When I look at him, he doesn't do parkour. He's an athlete. Yeah, we had this when he was on. We spoke about kind of this like almost weird differentiating between yeah. people like him and Daryl who are like, yeah, it's like athlete, and Tim Champion. And, like, and we're Brody, athletes. Brody, I would say as well. Yeah. Brody and Dylan Paulson, they're the same. They're like doing loads of strength. It's like when I look at them, I think athlete. I look at myself, I'm like, well, I do parkour. But like yeah. they're, they're doing all the work, like, all the background work to make it happen. Yeah. yeah. Um, which, yep, yeah, anyone out there, definitely start thinking about that. Do it. Actually, actually very relevant. Marks is releasing his training guide next there week. There you go. Yeah. Perfect. He, Perfect. Uh, Marks with Will Fraser Coombe has put together a uh, foundations of lifting guide, which is literally designed for this exact purpose of getting stronger and injury prevention. And they filmed it in here uh, a couple of weeks ago and we're actually releasing a teaser tonight i think this podcast will go out after it um i can't remember when exactly it's going live and also how much it's going to cost but look out for it perfect so that means anyone who's listened to george's advice can yeah. now go i want to start lifting yeah don't have anyone to teach me how there you go yeah link in bio ties in perfectly get yeah. Yeah. program um yeah. yeah and yeah you'd be helping Mark become, too, become so super great. strong and keep yourself safe you can train forever such yeah. a serious like, podcast. Yeah. Forever. I mean, it's Boxes definitely, and strength. It's, it's how, how definitely reckon, good advice. How long do you reckon Ed Scott's going to go until he starts? Forever, bro. Do you reckon? Yeah. He's going to be in like his 70s bro. and he's still progressing. He's still, hitting <laughs> he's sick, still doing he's still some fun stuff. Six, like he's, yeah. Sick horrors and shit. He'll never, yeah, I think. Yeah. He's, the dude, he's the dude, like, who will hit man par when he's 60 years old, you know? Like, if it's going to be There are going to be some mad feats like that, aren't there? Yeah. It's going to be anyone. It's going to be Ed. Like, yeah, like sure. I wonder, like, who's currently the oldest person in the world to have done a double backflip outside onto, like, grass? Well, yeah, that's that's good, yeah. I would love to know, like... Probably like, is not it... old at all. No, nah, but you, you might no, get, no, like, no, no, I reckon, like... A 48-year-old four... sucked a soul athlete or something. Yeah, yeah for sure, for sure. Like grass, of... though. Yeah, maybe. Like, mm. yeah, it's, it's, but it's, there will be, in every... It's definitely possible. In every skill set, there'll be someone who's, like, just the oldest, and then... Mm. They'll Still do really it. Good, and, but also skill sets, but also maybe like actual things. Uh, so no actual challenges like... Uh, like a, a IMAX or whatever, like, yeah. Uh, yeah, IMAX. Yeah. So like, who's the oldest person to running pre-IMAX at the moment? I don't know. Bo. 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 Yeah. Definitely but Bo. Like, like when he's that, in when his is 50s. That, yeah. He's taken over. Like. Yeah, exactly. Well, there, this one I'm saying, there could be a day where someone comes along at 60 years old and does the IMAX. Yeah. Really. We just don't know because mm. another thing is it's evolution of sport. Yeah. As the sport evolves, the level like will mm -hmm. obviously increase, and that means that people would be doing harder things for longer. The thing I would say we're limited by compared to some of the wheel-based sports is that obviously we super impact heavy. Yeah, yeah. so it's like yeah, a running pre at age sixty is very different to like I don't know doing a big kickflip at age yeah. sixty because but, oh yeah for George, sure. Although the bail implications are very. George like, was even saying like your knees if they're hurting and you're you can still kind of go out and blade. But you're yeah. just cruising around in the skate yeah, park. Yeah, just cruising like, around. That, uh, yeah, like when I've skated. That you could do forever. Exactly. You when I've skated, like... I feel like I can skate for a whole day at a skate park. Yeah. Consistently, hardly any breaks. It's because, because the, the, wheel, the wheels, yeah, that's yeah. what you always used you're to notice. Like when I was a kid as well, rollerblading, you could skate for like, yeah, like 10 hours. Mm. And like, obviously you'd be tired, but it's not the same as it's parkour because you yeah, had the wheels. Like if you're, yeah, BMX and skateboarding, whatever, like there is so much of the, other, although it's super hard cardio still, there's a lot of the work being done for you. Yeah. Parkour is just 100% your body. Yeah. And you're, yeah, you're well, having to put in the explosion. You're having to take that impact all by yourself. Even actually. Why did we choose this one? I know, but even, even <laughs> yeah. just runners get injured. Yeah. Like but they're, they're yeah. Just, they Mate, just, all they do is run. That's impactful enough that's to get injured. That's what scares me because people get, te most commonly get tendonitis and jumper's knee from running. Yeah. So, so how bad we do is, fucking but how bad is if, if running on concrete is bad for you, how bad it's is jumping. parkour? Yeah. Like, when I went for this uh, MOT thing, I went for like a physio yeah. body check over MOT. So that, yeah, that's what I need. And um, it was predominantly, I did it at a place that like sells a lot of running shoes. So it was quite running focused, but he made me do single leg calf raises, right? So flat, barefoot, flat, flat and you, you 
sort of lightly touch a wall and you just oh, pump, yeah, pump up and down can... and you do it until failure. And then he puts you in a bracket. And I was like the lower end of intermediate. And what he said is like, if you imagine like your body mass sort of when you're standing is one, when you're jumping is, or like when you're running, obviously you're doing small jumps. So that's like sort of, let's say two, like, I mean, these aren't specifics, but like two or three or whatever. Mm -hmm. And then obviously proper jumping is like, you know, five to 10 and things. Mm -hmm. And you think about if you go out for like a 5k run, how many hundreds of times your feet doing that. And he basically said like what they say is as a sort of really, really rough rule of thumb, but you shouldn't do be doing like, it, it, let's say you started running and your mm. cardio was already quite good or even me. So I've just started running again. Yeah. My cardio is actually pretty good because I've been on the bike a lot. Yeah, yeah. So I am, like went out and did a 7K the other night. And oh, really? Found nice. it, and found it pretty chill, right? You've been on the Peloton over time though? Yeah, yeah. So what he said though is that because my calves and things, although they're strong from cycling, haven't got strong from running yet. Yeah. If I started doing like 10 to 15K regularly, I'd probably start to get like calf issues quite soon yeah. because they're not, they're from an endurance standpoint, they're just not used to that, that right. constant bounce. So you, but that, that could actually, what you were saying, it could be the walking. Like maybe that is a factor for me. Maybe walking. I mean, too maybe much obviously too like, but walking's great for you. So like, yeah, well, we're, design, we're designed, we're designed to the other way around. Like if the, the more you walk, it could you're be going to get better. Yeah. You're, yeah. You're going to get your knees. more. Motion is the lotion. It's so oh, hard, yeah. isn't it? It's so hard to know what's I know right. exactly what's good and what's bad. What's, yeah. what's, what's pushing you forward and what's pushing you back. Yeah. yeah. And parkour especially because yeah it's so impact heavy and it's there's got to be such a fine line between and i think so often you get people who they, they take a, they take a step forward and then they fuck it they're like oh and they, they i feel fine today and then they make it worse and i feel say, like oh, that's probably. exactly step what that's exactly what i've been doing since january yeah <laughs> like it's like one day you're like oh i feel good mm -hmm. and then but the thing is when you get work and it's like oh you need to do a two minute show and that requires rehearsals and then shows every night it's like well you need to work and you need the money and it's like well guess i just gotta yeah. <laughs> suck yeah. it up it hasn't well, been around long enough for people to know what's right. Yeah. I think. I feel like, well, yeah. We'll so just for keep for the most part, yes, but not. There's some grey areas still. Yeah. yeah we'll, we'll we'll learn more about it um, yeah. as time goes. Especially parkour is still so new. We're all so basically we'll, the guinea pigs. We'll yeah. Keep, we, yeah. We'll, 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 we'll keep learning. Um, mm. But yeah, please, if you're out there, <laughs> look after your knees. Serious shit, guys. Yeah, please, serious this shit. This is serious. Like um, and your ankles. Look at that. Yeah. And your, all, and all your, your joints. Yeah. You've had yeah. bad ankle before. Right? I've yeah. still got a bad ankle. Yeah. Like. Basically, parkour is really bad for you. <laughs> just so you know. Nah, nah, obviously. But it's fun. Yeah. So. Obviously, but uh, yeah, yeah. It's very fun. That's why we enjoy it. It's like drugs. You it's know, exercise. Not but great, but fun. Oh, God. It doesn't even yeah. feel like exercise. <laughs> <Bloggy yeah. over there. laughs> yeah, that's. that's mm. Sorry, Bloggy. You got comments to say there? Uh, no. No? All right. Uh, um, <laughs> no? No? Mm. Uh, squatting I, I is right though squatting is amazing yeah. squatting. lifting is tremendous yeah. so well that's it I'm, tremendous. I'm hoping that tremendous. that's going to change mm. things for me because obviously I've mm, Mate, I've we'll, never we'll film your 10 so. questions we'll roll that shit away and we'll start pumping some iron we'll do. Yeah. I think a really important thing is as well is just having really good technique obviously yeah. but I think a lot of people can fuck it not you because you have good technique but like there is a lot of people can fuck it early from training bad technique over a long period of time. Oh, for sure, yeah. Like yeah. some people, you, you know, when you point out someone's, well, it's kind of, it feels rude, but when someone's landing not right, mm. it does feel rude sometimes to point out, but I think it's also helpful because they could fuck themselves. Exactly, no, yeah, 100%, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Although, like, you like, want, do I mean, we know what good technique is yet? Yeah, so there's, yeah, yeah that's know. the thing. That is, yeah, the that, interview, um, that is exactly yeah. what I was thinking, mm, Bloggy, yeah, that's a very mm, good The point. interview Callum recently did between uh, Theo and No Bullshit Physio, Alexis, it's really interesting because you know about Theo. Yeah, yeah, I've watched his videos. Yeah, yeah so that, that, but they, Callum basically did this, like he kind of almost mediated this debate, I would say. Uh, and they talk a lot about this because you could look at like, I mean, there's some people like Pedro Salgado, for example, Callum raises, is duck footed. Mm. He's got, he's technically for him. I mean, he's a fucking phenomenal athlete. Yeah. For him, although he's duck footed, he's kind of got perfect technique, but yeah. it's, he's duck footed. For sure. Whereas like you get all these people who have these different, and this same guy actually said to me, I think Alexis or Callum talks about it on this podcast, but also the the guy at this thing I went to said to me, if you take a, a snapshot of like the, the top 10 or 20 marathon runners in the world and you filmed their technique, some of them will be heel striking. Some of them will be toe striking. Mm -hmm. Some of them would over pronate. Some of them would, and wow. it's like everyone has it's sort like, of it's some like their own best their own way for themselves. Yeah, yeah, yeah. obviously but within a limit and then some mm. people will be pushing that and then they get yeah. fucked up i think you can feel that out though slightly. Yeah. i definitely think for me i have when i had bad ankles and stuff and then from then 
I can, I feel like I know when something's not, mm. you can, you can feel when something's not right. Yeah. Like when you, to your body. Sometimes you can get really into a challenge or something and then you kind of forget about that shit, but you really should listen to your body. Yeah. Because when I haven't, that's when the next day I've been like, fucking hell, my ankles yeah, yeah. kill. Yeah. Like you should really just listen. Well, that's the key that at the end of the day, listen to your body is the complete key because yeah. I know like, I'm sure you're the same. Everyone's the same yeah. parkour. Even so sometimes when, yeah, you're in a challenge. Yeah. when you're on a challenge, you really want to do. And there is a lot of time you are completely compromising the technique and safety just because you want to do the challenge. Yeah. yeah. But really you should be, yeah, being safe and listen to your body and try and mm. train for more long- longevity <laughs> instead of just trying to get that one banger. It's so hard as well though when yeah. you're together. Like if us, yeah, if we're yeah. all together and we find like something. Like, one more time, one more time. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, someone, one person, one of us bounces it and then we'll be like, oh, it's on, it's on. Yeah, and then it's, it's like on. a massive heel bounce or yeah, whatever. Yeah, and it's yeah, like, yeah. you probably you probably should stop. And it's like, one more, go, go, go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I, I fucking love that though about parkour. Like yeah. there's so many other, I mean, I'm sure it happens in skating and stuff as well. But like, I love it when everyone together just does a challenge. Yeah, like yeah. when we find someone something gets like, the first is it bounce? possible? Yeah, when someone, someone gets the first it. bounce, you're like, oh, yeah. it's possible, yeah. yeah. And then everyone gets the gas it, feel and happy. Yeah. Like, it's like you so need, good. you need that one. Someone needs that one dead sand. Mm-hmm. <laughs> that's what that's what Travis says. One DS, one dead sand. Oh, and then dead wait, what's that? He he does he, one w- dead. W- he keeps saying. Um, he says him and Danny P created it. It's one one DS, one dead sand. What does that mean? And I started incorporating. It's like you know when you need that first dead sand to get the challenge. Like like one that looks fucked. No, not even not. one that not even one that looks fucked. It's like say you're trying like a one eighty. You just need that one commitment to get yeah. out of the way. Yeah. Like one bad commitment where it's like. You just go for it, and like, yeah, you bounce it. Because really sometimes, badly or although something. you can, and once you get that, it's like okay, now I know exactly how it's gonna feel. Yeah, yeah, sometimes you need it to know the the parameters of the thing you're trying to do. You're yeah, like, yeah. oh, it's bigger than I thought, or smaller it's, than I exactly, thought. And exactly, exactly. Like, and with the dead sand, you know, it's like you've committed, but maybe not with the best uh-huh. dead. Sand. Our, our, bo- our bodies, <laughs> but it does like happen. Like, yeah, you're like yeah, okay. oh, 100 percent. And a lot of the time, you you do need that dead sand. It's like my it, if whenever I go out training, like my first Kong of the day is shit. Mm. Well, there you go. Like, that's a dead sand. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like one dead. If sand. I'm like trying to do a Kong pre, I'm always just like, I need to just do a really shit one just to basically like get my head in like yeah, yeah well that's yeah. it and then you know you can calculate it from there yeah how you need to go forward go back how, how long have we been going 52 nice I, I i don't know who i was talking to you recently about it but i i think there's how am i gonna wear this sometimes when you're doing a challenge though and you know when you like visualize it too much yeah I don't, especially a line oh yeah and you think about every individual bit or a certain yeah. bit it can fuck it oh mate but if I'm you don't think about it and let your body it just, just do work. it yeah, yeah, it yeah. works so it's like yeah. sometimes a I'm dead sorry scent. I farted so badly sorry man <laughs> okay, it, the smell is you'll get it it will come soon and then we'll tell you if it's yeah. alright but no yeah so sometimes a dead scent you're like if you've been training for a long amount of time your body is just capable of doing it nice like yeah yeah the first dead scent you'll be like oh that was fine. Sometimes it just does happen. Yeah. Like it. But uh, it's funny. Yeah, yes. you, you guys. One day, yes. maybe, yeah. maybe not me. The you're, one you're, you're like that where you're like, I'm just going to try it. And then you just, I'm like, oh. If you have faith, because I heard Callum say it as well in one of the new story videos, they're doing the water challenge stuff. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And I think he said, I could be wrong, but they wanted to jump. And he was like, look, if you just go for it, your body will. Like, yeah, you've yeah, done yeah, this yeah. so yeah, many times. And, and like, so it is true. Like, you're, that's you're what I'm like, when it. It, when it comes to something like a rail pre or something like that, that's where I have that mentality. Yeah, cause because I'm rails so many times. And I'm like, I know I'm going to get my feet there. It's mm-hmm. when it's a line and it's step three of the line is the bit I'm scared of. Mm. And even though I've done step three a number of times on its own, that's when I get scared because it's like, yeah. you're like, okay, one, two. And then that's the moment where I'm like, that's when the, for me, the biggest mm. risk is. Yeah. Like, oh, for sure. Yeah. But I almost use it the opposite way because sometimes in say the third move in the line is like, you haven't committed to it yet. But if you do the first two parts, perfect. Yeah. Then you're under pressure. Like, okay, that's it. I have to <laughs> do it. Well, I have to yeah. do it now. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. And I, yeah. That works a lot for me in my training. Like I'm, mm. yeah, the part that I'm scared of, I'm just in my head, I'm, I'm thinking, well, if I get the first two connections perfect, then the third one is going. I'm gonna, yeah. I'm gonna yeah, come yeah, try. Yeah. You give it your all. Yeah. No, I agree fully. I agree oh, fully. I think honestly, it's such a, it's such a I don't have that many because I don't train as much as I should but like one of my favourite moments was that run I did at Air Whip the one that went like oh kind of, yeah yeah, yeah the whole it thing went go, right it did go but viral it, it was the it was an Instagram square it kind of went viral it, went, yeah. it got like 200k views yeah, it did yeah. go viral but the, the rail plyos because I'd done them previously in preps with like mats and things but yeah. it was doing them after doing all that other stuff and it was exactly that scenario where it's yeah, like yeah yeah have to it's like it's gotta go and it's just like <laughs> and it was like yeah. fucking three rail flyers so I was like <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you get to the other side and you're like oh thank fuck like yeah. but that's the thing 
thing. Commitment, so good. Commitment's just a weird thing. Like, I often get it, I don't know about you guys, where you're not even close to committing to something. Mm. And then, yeah, if you put it in a line, it's just, like, just, yeah, even yeah. though you weren't even close to committing to it before, sometimes it just... Like mm-hmm. it just clicks and then you just do it. It's such a commitment mm-hmm. and parkour is such a weird thing. It is. I almost feel like sometimes it's re- even like physically there. I can feel that wall of commitment. Yeah. Like if, if you can't put it in the line, you don't have the option. It's like, fuck, I actually have to just break through this wall of commitment right now. Yeah. I, I sometimes that's send, harder. Yeah, sometimes I, that is harder. I, I find it this so comp. hard it's like now. with a cat pass or something and it's yeah. a big one. You're like, I'm just going to have to go for it. Yeah. yeah. I have to literally just fucking send it it's, it's like it sounds it's, so sketchy but it's not like you just have to go through if it. i go out on a day's training it's make or break to get through that and if mm. i can't get through it i go home and i lie in bed and i hate myself <laughs> everyone has like, them days yeah. that's the thing everyone you need but i found yeah. it's it's definitely not just because i've got older it's because i don't train as much mm. as i should yeah, consistency I, like commitment obviously consistency is a huge part yeah to it's like the less you commit. train the harder it is to get through that barrier because yeah, you're not mm. not you're not yeah you're not as comfortable you're not as yeah. comfortable whereas if you're Bang and you know what I mean you're like Travis and you're training yeah. scary things every single session. Mm. Your commitment level is gonna yeah go exactly like so true crazy yeah. you know. Um, but it's mm-hmm. different for different people. Um, Depends what type of stuff you exactly. do as yeah. well. Mm-hmm. Very true. Um, I need to go and drop the kids off at school. <laughs> nice at Again. the swimming no at the swimming pool. Yeah. Have you already shot today? You make me sound like a cat. Yeah. <laughs> well, we need to you know yes need to I take did, care yeah. of you because yeah. you haven't shot in about a day. Yeah, but no, I'm on number two. You need so. some fiber. Get your I fiber do. tablets back in. Back in the day, do. Giles used to have to give me fiber tablets so that I could. Have you tried them as take, well? So I could take enough poos to train. Remember when we were on the yeah. UK tour? It's like a. I've was... been like, I hadn't took a shit in like four days. And I was just like still training really hard, just in pain. And then it's like, George, please loosen, Giles, your, loosen yeah. your bowels. Giles saved me with some power. Because it was the first time I came on a trip. I was like, I can't just not train I remember. because I'm constipated. I remember the first, it was the first minibus trip. In There's yeah, a clip yeah, of yeah. it. You come out and you're like, it was only a half success. I only yeah, yeah, half yeah, yeah. It literally took f- like four days for me. Yeah. I don't even, well, yeah, it's because my diet used to be awful. <laughs> yeah. But yeah. But I was the same. Well, I had some of your fiber tablets on the first Um in lease, lease first trip in yeah. lease and you you were taking them every day yeah a little too much but, but then you end up having like three or four shits a day yeah i just read about them on reddit one time and how they're like good for you and then i bought some and then they, they became a bit too well, much yeah fiber is good but then again it same as nothing too much fiber is oh good. yeah too much too fiber, much fiber is, isn't, isn't too good. much of anything but yeah. too much fiber can also make you constipated mm. yeah so yeah. it's like really it's the same as everything too much oh, of gosh. anything too much of anything is not good too much of a good things about thing on that no. note too much of a podcast could get bad. So, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, look out for Marx's course. Look out for George. Yeah, everyone already fucking follows him, so mm-hmm. don't need to worry about that. Yeah. Uh, yeah, what are you on? You must be cruising towards 100k. Nah. What are you on? <laughs> nah. Yeah. Well, I don't know. Like 90. Does it, are you in that <laughs> point? 90. Are you in that point? Is it a steady growth or does it sometimes kind of like... Mate, we are stuck. Nah, it's, still been a, it's still been a pretty steady growth, but um, just Mo- since I've been injured... In the 70s. Since I've been injured, I just haven't been able to push as hard. So it's been obviously... Oh, uh, yeah. It's been more What's like your a, tactic towards pushing more followers? Do you have like... Do you, no, update, just, do you upload on a specific date or do you No, just, I just... Um, I just upload 6 p.m. UK time. That's the only thing that I use and then I just literally just go out and film whatever. So just when you've got I something, want you upload to do, it. Yeah, whenever I want to do something like a challenge, I just film that and then, yeah, just there keep my style training and just go to different spots. So, advice stay true to yourself, <laughs> post regularly on Instagram. Reels are I mean, better. if that's what you want, though, that, then Reels parkour is not all about that. If, that probably, if that's what you want, then you do that. If yeah, not, then sh- should then probably get an agent. Look after do your knees. Mm-hmm. Look after your knees is the main thing. Listen and to your body. Yeah, and listen, listen to your, to your body. body. Yeah. And too much fiber can give you constipation. One dead sand. One dead sand. sand. There we go. And yes. give us a boxers sponsor. Yeah. Yes. If and coffee the, yeah, and alcohol want, and everything else. And fuel. Anything you want reviewed. Fuel. Fuel. Yeah, anything you want reviewed, sand it does. Yeah. yeah. We'll Sounds do it. Good. Unless it's, you know, bad things. Yeah. <laughs> um, <laughs> Just review it badly. That's fine. Yeah, true. Yeah. Cool. Right. Subscribe, like, comment, share, clothes, buy, discount, prod me. Um, look out for Marx's thing. Yeah. Anything that's else? Kind of it. You know, yeah. look out for the everything. Look no, out. Just, just look out when you cross the fucking road. Yeah, do that. All right. Look out, toilet, because I'm coming. See mm-hmm. you. Love you. Bye. Peace. Bye.